Hi there, I'm John from CNCRI.com and today we're going to make a couple hundred emus. When it comes to making custom geometries, whether they're animals like emus or rabbits or squirrels or whatever you want, uh, they could be uh, geometries like triangles, circles, squares, whatever you want, again, uh, we can make them in basically unlimited quantities using any material, any size, any shape. And what I mean by that is, let's say you're one of these emus out of stainless steel, we can make them just technically as easily as our laser behind us because we have a plasma cutter, we have other CNC tools here in the shop. They can pretty much fabricate anything out of anything for anything. Now the nice thing about using CNC's to make these kind of shapes is that each one is identical. And they're identical because the design that's used to make them is identical. So let's say for instance you had two emus like this here. You could fit them in perfectly and everything is absolutely identical in every possible way. Now if you want them to all be different, again, not a big deal. Just send us designs or we can modify the designs using parametric or so, parametrics or whatever you want and we can make them all different. It really doesn't matter. It's not like we're stuck with a jigsaw or a scroll saw cutting one out at a time which would be, which would be incredibly tedious. Now when it comes to the resolution for these animals here specifically, um, we could have gone through a lot more resolution but it, again you have to keep in mind that the higher the resolution your shape, meaning that the longer the overall line length is, so over here you got a perimeter going all the way around, so the overall However long, long that line is, the longer it is, the more it's going to cost you. So that's something to keep in mind. So let's say you wanted a couple hundred emus like this here, and you didn't have much of a budget. Well, one way to find us to be able to do that for you at that budget would be to make them smaller. Anything that gets smaller uses less lines than something that's larger, generally speaking. Now, these things will be painted. That's why we used MDF. And because they'll be painted, that's why also why we cut this out here because the problem is if we engraved emu on these emu well, what happened is you put paint over it and you basically cover the engraving so you're paying us to do something that you're covering up by cutting through it the paint will 
obviously go in, inside of it a little bit, but it's not going to block the whole front of it unless you're using an incredibly thick paint. Generally, the first questions I ask customers are, what is your budget and what is your timeline? And those are very important numbers to know. Because let's say you have a very large budget and you can do basically anything, however long it takes. Well, then we go to something very exotic regarding materials. But let's say you want something cheap and now, well, MDF is actually a really good choice for that. Uh, the material itself is very easy to work with. Um, if you want to send it after the fact at your end, not a problem at all, or we can do that as well. Now the reason why budget is very important is because let's say you're not sure what you want but let's say you have a figure in your mind of how much something should cost and the application will be for. Uh, we can make things out of, let's say you wanted this out of titanium, we can make it out of titanium. It will cost a hell of a lot more than making it out of MDF. Maybe a mid-ground that would be acrylic or some other material, maybe even Corian that we can also work with uh, quite easily here in the shop. But every process has a plus and a minus. So for instance, if these ones here are laser cut, so if you wanted exactly the same resolution regarding the exact same sharpness, mostly on the inner of the letters here, uh, the only other way would, would be to boot up the water jet and do it with the water jet. Now let's say you can live without the emu in, on, you know, writing inside here, well then these can be very easily plasma cut as well. Plasma is faster than water jet, uh, which means that they're more cost effective, but you do lose on that with resolution. It's sort of like comparing our laser to our CNC router. The router is incredibly fast. It could plow through these things in two seconds. Uh, the, only you know, the only bad part about that is that it's a contact method, meaning that a lot of these guys would be pushed off or broken, and this inner part here would be basically impossible. But if you really wanted it, well then we do it on the router, and then we move it over to the laser, so we're creating another process that adds more cost. So again, there, these are all things you don't really need to know about, but if you give us an idea of what the budget is and what the timeline is, uh, we can help guide you as to which way is the most cost-effective way and the fastest way to produce something that you want. Another important thing to keep in mind is the environment. Um, if you plan on having this as coasters that are going to be outside in four seasons, this will last you about one rainstorm. If you want to have it last a little bit longer, uh, apply a sealant over it and that will help act as a barrier between the MDF and the outer environment. Let's say you wanted something to last maybe 20 years outside, uh, we can make it out of stainless steel. Um, again, every material is a plus and a minus, every process is a plus and a minus, but really budget and timeline is really what narrows things down dramatically and makes things a lot more cost effective when it comes to negotiations and deliverables by cncri.com.
So if you wanted a whole bunch of custom shapes, whether they're the same or different, regardless of the material, all that kind of stuff, uh, contact me at cncri.com. It will make it for you, but it really helps if you tell us right off the bat, here's how many units I want, here's what material I would prefer, because we could also work with anodized aluminum and a bunch of other stuff. Um, so roughly a budget number, timeline, and based on all of that, it's pretty straightforward as to what's the best way forward. Uh, the nice thing about FedEx and those kind of things um, is that we can ship them all around the world. Uh, but if you're in North America, generally FedEx takes a couple of days. Uh, USPS can take up to two weeks. But again, if you're in no rush for something, there's no point paying more for shipping if it's just going to sit in the storage box uh, for a couple of weeks anyways. So just things to keep in mind when you go into custom production and you want us to make something really cool for you. Now again, we can scale things to infinite size. So let's say you wanted those emus to be, I don't know, uh, cold rolled steel, roughly this size here. We can make them for you just as easily or even at the same time as we're making the MDF versions of it. So it's another thing to keep in mind when it comes to customers that want to have multiple levels of things. Uh, probably the most apt application to that would maybe be like corporate awards and that kind of stuff where you have you know, the grunts who do the work in the cubicles, they get a little award like this, and they get the executives get a little bit bigger and the vice presidents, and then the CEO gets, you know, a massive golden statue. So, whatever you want, contact us at cncri.com, and we'll make it for you. <laughs>